I would love to see the harp across genres in a more diverse way. The soundscape possibilities are endless. So the harp in general has long had this slightly outdated association with ethereal femininity, often very arrhythmic, heavenly music. And of course, it can do that so beautifully, but the instrument can do so much more. As a harpist, we're often placing our notes and we can't strum like a guitarist. We don't have the use of the bow to create these kind of elongated phrases or driving momentum in the music. So I found that creating these kind of shifting rhythmic soundscapes, it can create some of that, that inner drive. An example of some more rhythmic playing, in this piece we're in 7-8. So let me move back and forth between two different rhythmic patterns in 7-8 using different registers of the instrument. Back down. And you can hear I'm going up to get that kind of popping sound. Another thing I do a lot is I gently lay my fingers on the base of the strings and give it this marimba, percussive sound. I love that sound. So if this is me playing in the center of the strings, you can hear when I move up the strings, I get a much more nasal tone. And I love this contrast with, with the natural sound of the instrument. I think something I've learned over the years is it's very easy to go into the room wanting to bring you. You've spent all your life to this point gathering the tools to be the best, in my case, harpist I can be, the most proficient technically, theoretically, rhythmically. But actually, it's not your job in that moment to display all of these things. It's your job to be curious and listen and to find a place in the middle of where you and this other artist are, to get rid of any ego or preconceived ideas is very difficult, but really at the heart of a true connection. Mm -hmm.